How can I help you? I want to travel. Where do you want to go? Can't you see that I'm busy? Leave me alone! Your wife sent me. What? Oh, cripes! Please don't tell my wife, I beg you! Tell her I was seeing the doctor! If I get him in my fingers ever again, I'll kill him. Who are you talking about? He ripped me off, this loud mouth. Talking all about his great ship and how strong he is. Well, I must admit he was kind of strong. But he left without paying me. Kitten took the money he owed me from my wage. 150 ducats, gone. I could try to get your money. You're a noble person. Wish there were more of your kind around. Hello, sweetheart. Sorry, we've got no jobs at the moment. The girls can handle them all. Oh, sorry. Goodbye.
you are. I was looking for you. It was a horrible night. Knox, what are you... What happened to your eyes? They said they wanted to meet us to discuss a peace treaty. Who did this to you? Because the message came from one of our own people. Leora. All of us went there, right into the trap. It was the night of the blade. They smashed the resistance. It was later that night when they found a way to become undead. Immortals, untouchable by death. That was seven moons ago. Now, it's always dark. Who did this to you? It doesn't matter. I didn't betray you. For once in my life, I did the right thing. I did it for you. So go, Scarlet, go and do what you have to do for me. I still know so little. All you need to know is that if Victor finds the Black Grimoire, he can speak the final spell and everything we know will come to an end. You can't let him get the book. You've got to find Victor. And when you do, run that moon blade right through his undead heart, no matter what the cost. We all need to pay. Is there still hope at all? Or is it too late already? As Leora says, maybe soon we'll find out. I will go now. You know what you need to do. And use your powers. There, there is someone around who can help you. Very courageous of you to come down here, whoever you may be. I spoke to Leora. My wife? Oh, my beautiful wife. She's overcome with guilt for all that she did. She did it all with good at heart. She wanted the best for all of us. Does she seek my forgiveness? Oh, Leora. I will never forget the first Mayflower she gave me. I do not need to forgive her. For I always knew she wanted to do the right thing. I will love her forever. In her world and the next. Please, tell her I said that.
this. I want to use the platform. to your husband. What? How? No, I don't believe you. He said he will never forget the first Mayflower you gave him. Oh. How? Oh. So you... You speak the truth. And he said that he doesn't need to forgive you, for he always knew you wanted to do the right thing. Oh, it's true. I made a very bad mistake. It was a moonless night. I knew we'd missed all the chances we were going to get to dispossess the doge. The resistance was already scarce, and then I met Victor. I didn't want them to die. And he offered me their lives if I delivered them to him. So, I betrayed them to save them. What choice did I have? If we kept fighting, we were all going to die. Better alive in prison waiting for another opportunity than being slain by the doge's guards. But just as I had betrayed my friends, Victor had betrayed me. He didn't take a single prisoner. They all died that night. Everything I'd worked for, everything I'd lived for, and everyone I'd loved. Gone. After that, there was no point in fighting anymore. Instead, I consigned myself to a life at Victor's side. I decided that this was to be my punishment until the end of my days. It's never too late. I will change things. No, you won't. Don't you understand? You'll just go down the same road I did. In the end, instead of helping, you'll just make things even worse. You cannot change fate. Nobody can. The sooner you accept this, the less damage you'll cause. Now leave me alone. I shall return to my master soon. Here. This is a letter of recommendation. Now you can go and see Largo, who can tell you anything about this district that you need to know. Hmm, I don't... No. Oh, how could all this happen? The princess was our guiding light, our hope, until she sought allies, false allies. Now she's a tool of the doge, and our country's cursed and abandoned, leaving us stranded here. We're the only surviving refugees. The scribe, myself, and Akbar, who works at the dockyards. At least we're safe now we're in Venice. You're no longer safe. The princess has arrived in Venice. What? Oh no, someone needs to warn Akbar. We can't leave the tavern. This would be too dangerous. Please, go to the docks. They are at ground level. Tell Akbar that he must hide. Did you find my husband? Well, do you know about the Ambrosial Lotus? I knew it! I thank you for telling me the truth. Please, take this ring. I don't need it anymore.
Wait. Do you have an invitation? Yes. Here it is. Thank you. You may pass. I knew you'd show up here sooner or later. I wonder who might have given you the permit. You're a soldier of fortune, coming to a place of opportunities. But before you step any further, there's something you need to know. This district is my district. It may look run down. It might be corrupt. And hell, Lord knows there are killings on the streets. Opiates. Firecap mushrooms, or worse. But it works. It works because the people obey my rules. The dockyard produces ships for the Doge. A gigantic fleet of vessels. And as long as I give the ships to the Doge, anything else I do is tolerated. So as long as the people obey my rules, everybody has a good day in the streets of the Arsenal District. So... About you. Will you obey my rules or not? I would never dream of breaking your rules. Don't suck up to me. I've got my eye on you. Now, what was it I could do for you? Do you know where a man called Sophistos lives? Sophistos? He pleaded with me for a special permit for a research laboratory when the Great Chimney was built. Do you have the key for the old chimney? Of course I do. But no one in this district gets something from me without giving me something in return. What do you want me to do? As you may recall me saying, there's a golden rule in my district. Nobody messes with the ships. As long as they let the dockyards be, all those little rogues are fine by me. But lately, one of them hasn't been playing by the rules. A man they call Mercutio. And so, I am forced to react. Shall I take care of this Mercutio for you? If you can, let's say, remove him, I'll give you your key. You'll find Mercutio at the Ambrosial Lotus, a very shady establishment. It's located just at the end of the stairs that lead down. I want to use the platform. 